a long time no see. It's been a hot minute. She's been busy, but it's been fun. So I just thought this video would be kind of like an updatey video. It's Sunday night. We've just had two weeks of holiday and then one week back at school. Here we are. I did a decent amount over the holidays of like year 12 work. This is our last proper school term. There's literally like 50 something actual days of school left, which is insane. Like, I'm gonna work out exactly how many days. Oh, I'm scared. 55 more days of school left. And on the 55th day, I will be graduating. So yeah, it's kind of scary, kind of exciting. Uni applications are open, everything's happening. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Here we are, welcome to the channel. We're just gonna have a quick fire round updates. Um, First update is I got this cup. <laughs> and it's just like this white cup um, with a straw. It's like insulated. Um, the white bit is like kind of sparkly all round a good purchase. I have a new hobby. I'm not that bad at golf. You heard it right. The old men's sport. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but like the first time I went, I almost got a hole in one from like 80 meters away, but we're not going to talk about that. It's a vibe. What else has been happening? <gasps> in terms of school. I'm actually going okay with school at the moment. Like year 12 is okay for me personally at the moment. <laughs> Mainly because I don't have any exams. I know there's so many people absolutely stressing over their exams and I feel so bad. I just wanna help everyone and I just, I don't know what to do. If you've watched my previous productive videos, you would know how much I hated maths methods. It was just the worst time. And for someone who doesn't wanna go into a maths career, it was stupid for me to choose it. In hindsight, don't listen to everyone around you when they talk about subjects because you're the one that's gonna have to do the work in the end. So don't listen to everyone that's like, you should be picking all of the smart subjects. Let me tell you creative subjects have just as much work if not more than academic subjects academic i'm getting fired up your smartness is not determined by what kind of subjects you do yes it's impressive to be able to solve fancy equations however it should also be just as impressive to be able to belt a high note and like put on a show, create a piece of artwork or I don't know, like I think every subject has its own flares and to be put into a box to say you should be doing this subject because you're smart or you should be doing this subject because that's how you do things or that's how you become something. No, 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 no. Choose subjects that you want to do obviously think about your future, but I listened to everyone else. I should have done general maths, first of all. I think I would have actually been okay at that. And it's not that I couldn't do maths methods. So, I don't even think I've said it, but I dropped it. <gasps> I've withdrawn from maths forever. And she's very happy about it. So now my workload is significantly less, which is great because now I can focus on my other subjects and making them better, which it has been working, like my grades. Super fun. Hello, Ata. I mean, I'm trying. I'm really trying. But yeah, it was definitely a good decision for me because I did art last year and I also did research project. Both year 12 subjects kind of somehow managed to whip out an A plus in both. So your girl didn't need maths methods. Well, let me tell you, I'm in a show. Basically, I did hairspray last year with Adelaide Youth Theatre, my first proper youth theatre production, other than like school productions. I'm a massive theatre nerd basically. And this year I'm doing Grease, which is super exciting. I didn't think it would happen because of Corona and everything, but I'm super lucky that in Adelaide, Corona's okay, she's settled. For now, touch wood, I auditioned and I am playing. Frenchie, which if you don't, you've never seen Greece, you'd be like, 
nice. She's like the beauty school dropout. She's got really cute pink hair. This is what she looks like. And she's the lead's best friend. So Sandy's best friend. That's been performed in like middle of October. And I'm doing drama as well. So I've got two productions on the go. Learning lines for both. It's super fun because it's just, uh, it's what I love. But it is a lot. Today, Sunday, I had work this morning um, at like 8 a.m. No thanks. And then I have these like scrunchies in my car, like on the gear stick. I'm just kind of sick of the colors. So I went into the shops like across from my work, just trying to find a different vibe for the scrunchies. And I ended up going on a bit of a spree. So maybe I'll do a try on haul. But yeah, I mean, every day is up and down. I don't want to come across as if everything's dandy all the time, because trust me, it's not. I'm on the formal committee, so that's also kind of fun. I get to like choose all the themes, literally like every senior year movie that you've ever seen. And it's just, I'm just really having a good time. I'm trying to be present and live in the moment and just soak it all in while it's here. I don't want to be wishing away anything at the moment. I'm really just trying to have the best time trying. <laughs> so that's a very long update of what's been going on in my life. I don't really know what the plan for the rest of tonight is, but I'll work it out and I'll write myself a little to-do list, but yeah. <laughs> my drama folio a couple days ago and I forgot to tick it off my to-do list um but I'm so freaking happy with it it ended up being a lot of words let me tell you it was literally like 15 pages of solid writing and like designing it really took me a hot minute and a half how many words was it okay it ended up being 4,762 words ew so basically it was this folio on a play that we read and then basically we had to create our own, our own like interpretation. I'm very happy with it. It did take a hot minute. <laughs> Although it's 450, so I need to cut it down. So I'm gonna do that now. In music, we have to write about the songs that we're performing, the technicalities of the voice, tilted thyroid blah 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 lifted larynx fancy words i didn't do bio for a reason <laughs> but anyway so i'm singing if i had you by drew gasparini such a cute song and i've just finished my little write-up on it i only have one more song to write about i dreamed a dream from the miss which is very different to this song so i've been kind of productive kind of love that for me <laughs> 